what's going on everyone welcome back thank you so much for stopping by today if you're new here welcome to tolly zoo as i go through the trees real quick welcome to tolly zoo which is our franchise zoo that we've been playing on hard mode and today to start off we have quite a few issues <laughs> so that's what we're going to tackle first and foremost then probably jump into a time lapse we added some clouded leopards last time but their habitat is really needing some love really needs some help so trying to focus on this whole area here for our clouded leopards and our jaguars so first before we jump into that let's go ahead and take a look at what the heck is going on uh, multiple animals with low welfare. I am going to guess that it is a lot of our exhibit animals. So let's start by just kind of checking on them. Uh, these guys look fine. There's still only two in there. Great. These guys are a problem because holy cow. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to get rid of everybody but a male and a female. Let's see. Let's keep go up here we'll go ahead and keep Francisco as the male and Francisca as the girl how perfect is that Francisco and Francisca let's go ahead and move you guys to the Trade Center oh and we missed you Emerson you got to go too. goodbye okay so that's that let's go ahead and check on our other exhibit animals we have two more over here it's been so long since I've been in Tolly Zoo I gotta remember um, not to forget anything we'll go ahead and get rid of you and we'll go ahead and get rid of you. Then let's go to exhibit trading and in storage and let's just go ahead and quick trade everyone. Great, $2,200, perfect. Now if we hit play, does that kind of fix everything and go away? Diseased animal discovered, but you're in the, how does that even matter? You're in storage. Um, you know, to be honest, um, you know, I'm not even going to worry about that. They're in storage. So we'll worry about that when they, uh, when they come out of storage. So we'll dismiss that. Feeding station cannot be reached. How? Oh, it's probably because this is too short. I feel like you guys told me about that, uh, in the last episode. Let's go ahead and check. Now that we have our handy dandy traversable area, if we look at staff, there we go. Now they can use it. So let's see if we lower this. How far can we go until they can't get out of it anymore? Which is a bummer because I want the, I obviously want, there we go. I want the animals to be able to get through it, but I wanted it to look kind of like, you know, they were just going through it. Like this was a little door, but I completely forgot with this one, the door goes into the actual habitat, not like the house area. So we may have to change that and put the, the gate over here so that, I can lower that down a bit just so it looks more like it's just a little animal house, if that makes sense. Research for the Babarusa. That's great. Let's see if we got anything interesting for them. Um, if we search by species here. Let's see. Anything fun? Oh, we got this feeder thing. I think that's new. Let's go ahead and see. It's a food, food enrichment thing, so we can put that right there for you. No, I wanted that in the ground, please, because I don't like seeing the little silver thing. Perfect. Awesome. Well, that was actually an easier fix uh, than I thought, having missed last week's episode and then logging in and seeing like 15 uh, concerns there. That was, that was a little scary. Excuse you. Can you not kick over my trash cans? Do we have more? Isn't there a, um, oh my gosh. People are so rude. Have we unlocked the nicer trash cans yet? Because I really don't like these blue ones. I completely forget. Like I was saying, in having missed... No, we haven't. In having missed an episode uh, last week, I actually haven't been in to uh, Tolly Zoo in a while. So I kind of forgot where we were at or what we were up to. Hmm. New world theme transport rides. We're doing the Australia theme right now because I need those beams still for the clouded leopard and the jaguar habitat. That's really important. But what else? We got all of staff facilities, classic themes, shelters and climbing, drink shop barriers. Barriers might not be a bad one to do. And we got all of power, East Asia. Mmm... Maybe we'll go ahead. 
Maybe we'll go ahead and do Africa just because that kind of fits the tropical theme as well. And then we've got two vets, you and, oh, we need somebody on you. So go ahead and get going on that. Great. Awesome. I totally forgot we needed to research the clouded leopard. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I think today with the um, time lapse is let's go ahead and actually copy this. I want to focus on this area because I kind of want to start getting it all dialed in and pretty. So if we make this a building kind of like the other side is as well, we can put the habitat gate right here so that it... Is that like that on the other side? I guess it is, huh? Weird. I don't think I realized I made it that way. <laughs> but I must have because I did it. It's like that, right? Uh, so anyway, uh, so we could put the habitat gate right here. Why is that all weird? What was I doing when I made this building? And why am I just now noticing it? <laughs> just now noticing. Uh, that that is not lined up on either building. I guess I didn't notice it because the anti-climbing stuff is there and it actually kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that, but we're gonna fix it because I don't actually want it that way. There we go, five episodes later and I realized what a, what a weirdo I was. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Why is this so much? Oh, it's probably just because I made this barrier higher, not because that, that um, I almost said flamingo because I read that at the same time, but not because this building is any shorter. Facility broke down. Oh, what a shocker. It's a vending machine. Great. We have all of our little baby tortoises. We're waiting for them to grow up so we can rehome them in the wild or get them another home because unfortunately those are our little inbred tortoises. Um, but it's not been happening anymore. Oh, Estan is in our park. Too bad we can't say hi to you. Sorry, I'd say hi to you, but apparently, um, you're being censored. All right. Um, why don't we jump into the time lapse? I guess I'm just kind of stalling, right? I, let's jump in. Let's, let's get things going. Let's make things pretty. Let's get a roof. Cause apparently lack of roofs is my, uh, theme in this zoo. And yeah, let's get going. Let's do it. All right, so fairly productive here. Uh, we do get a roof on everything, rest assured. We don't leave things super unfinished at the end of this time lapse, um, but I wasn't quite as productive as I really wanted to be. And I do feel like that's a theme that I kind of frequently stick with, uh, where I have all these high hopes and these uh, super high goals to hit during our time lapses or when I'm building in Tali Zoo. And it just, time gets away from me. Tali Zoo is one that I think I've mentioned before. For a lot of my one-off habitat builds, I kind of do you know, quote unquote research, I guess, for lack of a better term, is I look for a lot of inspiration photos. I go through and look at actual habitats and like kind of get a game plan with what I'm gonna do before I actually sit down and build them. With Tali Zoo, I don't. Tali Zoo I, is kind of the one that I just am treating as more of a, a relaxed build. Uh, so I just kind of, go with the flow and kind of just start building. And sometimes I'll look at some reference pictures, sometimes I won't, but I don't do a whole lot of preparation beforehand. Um, so that's where I think I have all these high hopes and then things just kind of take me longer because as I'm building, things are popping into my mind and I'm, you know, I'm going down one road and then another thing comes up and, you know, going on and on with that, if that makes any kind of sense at all. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's where uh, I kind of say, often I feel that, you know, we weren't quite as productive as I wanted to be and, and that's why. However, our habitats are starting to look more done than they were in the past and our clouded leopards do get completely set up. They're all nice and happy. I do, however, forget water for them. Uh, so if you're noticing that in the time lapse and then also after, I put down a food tray for them, but I never actually put down any water. So off camera, I did uh, uh, put down a little water um, water fountain, I guess is what they're called. Uh, because I, I noticed that as I was trying to take the thumbnail shot, it started screaming 
looking at me. Your animals are dehydrated. And, uh, so I did throw one of those down just so that we wouldn't uh, have major issues for next time. Um, but I do want to give them, actually, I'm thinking like a natural pool so that they can have somewhere to kind of get into maybe with a waterfall, uh, just like our jaguar habitat. So We'll have to figure that out maybe next time or maybe in, an, in a few episodes. I do ask you guys at the very end of this episode what animal you might want to see next because I'm thinking in the next episode it might be time for a new animal or our other option would be to focus on our guests. I was noticing in this episode that the guest happiness is not the highest it could possibly be. Um, and I'm thinking we, we need to address that. I'm thinking that we need to pay attention to our guests a little bit more uh, because they are the ones that fund the zoo. They are the ones that uh, spend their money and are the ones uh, that pay for what we're building and what we're doing. So thinking we have to pay attention to them just a little bit more because uh, it is a franchise zoo. So I do have to remind myself that I don't just get to build willy nilly and have fun with, you know, whatever I want to do. We do have to pay attention to our funds, pay attention to our money. Um, I did want to build a little bit longer in this uh, episode. However, uh, exciting news. I was able to get my first vaccine, uh, my first COVID vaccine yesterday. Uh, and my arm hurts. <laughs> my arm hurts a lot. I was actually really surprised with how, how bad my arm hurts. And uh, me being the dummy that I am, they asked me what arm I wanted it in. And I just instinctively said my right arm uh, because I'm right hand dominant. And so I was like, yeah, just do my right arm. And then today I'm regretting like, why the heck did I do that? I use my mouse with my right hand. I use my phone with my right hand. And, and it's not my hand doesn't hurt, but you know, lifting my arm and moving it around is, is kind of sore. So uh, stupid me, I should have just said my left arm, but I didn't. So I got, I got it in my right arm and it hurts today. So uh, I didn't build for quite as long as I wanted to. And I'm not having a, a bad reaction to the vaccine. I've, I've heard the first one's not that bad. It it has made me feel kind of like icky and gross and just kind of run down and tired. Um, so that's another reason why I didn't build for quite as long. I've, I've spent uh, today watching movies, actually. I was fortunate enough to have uh, the day off. Um, so I, I spent the day relaxing, watching movies, um, just kind of, you know, making myself feel better because I was uh, I was not feeling so great after getting that vaccine. But um, I started watching the uh, King Kong and Godzilla movies because of the new one that came out. Um, so I went back and I've been watching those ones. And that was so much of a tangent. Apologies, that has nothing to do with our zoo. Uh, that's just kind of what was on my mind today, what I was doing. So I thought I would fill you guys in. In. But back to what we are actually doing. So I spent some time to kind of give a backdrop to our clouded leopard habitat by adding all those rocks. And then you can see here adding in the concrete on the back fence just to give it kind of more of a finished look. I end up uh, doing just a tiny bit for the guests over there as far as putting a couple benches and some trash cans. I really want to unlock the, um, they're like the black metal trash cans uh, that are I don't know how to describe them, but they just look like a more generic trash can. Those are the ones that I want to use. I don't want the themed trash cans. I don't want the blue trash cans. Uh, so I'm waiting to unlock those. I do a little bit more research in uh, this episode today. So hopefully, hopefully we get those fairly soon and we can do a little bit of an update on our park, uh, get rid of all those blue trash cans and, and put in the black metal ones. Um, but I do a little bit on the guest area is all I'm trying to tell you guys and add a, a little bit of um, education. And then of course those donation bins, because as people start to come over to the clouded leopards, we obviously want them to uh, donate to the clouded leopards because that's how we make money. So I would say that this habitat, aside from a few, pieces here and there. Um, spoiler, we do eventually unlock the metal uh, Australian beams that I've been wanting forever. Uh, so we can do a little bit of detailing with those because they are non-climbable. And that way our jaguar and our clouded leopard won't be able to climb out if we do a little bit of detailing on the fence area. Um, so that will be sometime in the near future. Not too long of a time lapse today. Uh, like I, I just mentioned before, I kind of got tired and worn out, but I do here in a second start working on some custom 
climbing pieces. And they're not super fancy, but just a few platforms that uh, allow the clouded leopards to get up on top of things and then obviously fulfill their climbing needs. I am a little disappointed in the clouded leopards um, kind of animations for the climbing to be honest as I was watching them kind of walk around as I was trying to get the thumbnail picture for this episode they're really glitchy and in fact at the very end of the episode you'll see I say like yeah we can take a look at our clouded leopards and one of them just like jumps and gets boxed up on flat ground it's not doing anything special it just just jumps and then box and I'm not quite sure why they're so glitchy. Um, I, I know Planet Zoo just released a, another update, so um, hopefully, I mean, it hasn't fixed it because the update's already installed in my game, but yeah, I'm not quite sure. They, they kind of do a whole lot of moonwalking, a whole lot of jumping in weird areas, and the climbing structure that I built is not all that complicated. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, please do let me know because I am, I'm not quite sure what all that is about. But yeah, finishing up here, like I said, just with a really quick uh, railing. A lot of this is just copied over from the Jaguar habitat. Wanted to make this whole little L-shaped area uh, kind of cohesive, kind of the same, like it's all part of one building, right? Like it was built at the same time. Um, maybe it was used for, for other animals in the past, but right now it's being used for the clouded leopard and the Jaguar. Uh, we could always switch it out in the future, like if we get other big cats and maybe maybe Tully Zoo, we get a, a huge influx of cash and we're able to make a uh, bigger, newer uh, jaguar habitat or something like that. And then we put another animal in the, in the other one. Um, something along those lines, kind of like what I'm pretending happened with the aardvark. I'm going to pretend that they didn't just get pissy and not want to be around people that we got like a, a newer habitat for them and they got moved or something like that. Uh, we haven't built that habitat yet, but when we do, that is going to be my storyline behind it. <laughs> but anyway, um, just another minute or so in this time lapse. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, Tali Zoo as well as the one-off habitats that I've been doing. Uh, the channel growth has been phenomenal as of late and I just can't thank you guys enough. So before this time lapse is over, I just did want to give you guys a huge, huge thank you because I am so appreciative of all of the support. All, all of you guys are just phenomenal. So thank you. I, I really can't say it enough, but yeah, with that, I am going to uh, be quiet. Uh, well, for now, because you guys are going to hear my voice in just another second. But we're gonna we're gonna leave time lapse Savannah. We're gonna go to real time uh, Savannah and do just a few more things uh, for the end of the episode. So so yeah, I'll th I'll throw it back to me. <laughs> go ahead, real time me. All right, so fairly productive time lapse there. I'm really happy with our clouded leopard habitat so far. So you see here, if we, we lower down, we have a nice little view of them, lots and lots of climbing for them. Gave them a little bit of a rock uh, backdrop, which is something I wanna do for the jaguars as well. Um, a few more little detailing bits on this. Uh-oh, we have one in a box. Unbox, please. Um, and then at some point, I don't actually remember why I hit unpause, but I did, and chaos happened. So let's uh, let's figure this out. What I'm thinking, actually, because this diseased aardvark is going to really irritate me, because um, it keeps popping up the little uh, notification. Let's go ahead and just make a little. Uh, enclosure here. We'll release the aardvark in it. We'll have the vet come help it and then we'll put it back in storage. Um, but what I do need to do first and foremost is if we go to our work zones, because I moved the habitat uh, gate, we need to add this one back onto here. Yes. And then let's... Sure, let's just, whoops, let's just add that little one onto there. So now that's in a work zone, that's good. If we go to our animal trading and our storage, let's go ahead and get, oh, you're not gonna tell me which one? Oh, goodness, let's go to our animals and figure out uh, that one right there is the diseased one. 
No, this should be animal storage. Thank you. Uh, this one right here. Let's go ahead and send to the zoo. Can we send them directly to the... No, we cannot. Mm, let's send them to quarantine, actually. That might actually... That might fix our problems there, right? Because don't they take care of them in quarantine? We might not even need this little habitat thing. So that is set there. Ooh, mechanic research. What did we unlock? Let's see. Australia theme. Let's see. Did we get it? That would be great if we did. Those beams. That's all I want is those those uh, metal beams. Yes, perfect. These ones right here is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we'll take a look at that in just a second here. Uh, vending machine is broke down, but the mechanic is still on the way, right? Great. Call mechanic for that. And we should be able, let's hit play, see if things kind of right themselves. Uh, what else? Habitat cannot... Habitat cannot... Oh, vet cannot reach habitat. Did I not connect it to the path? It should be. Is there not a vet in that work zone? Mechanic cannot reach. That should be fixed now, right? Because we added it to the work zone. Let's see. Um, overall, no, that's not what I want. Staff, work zones. Let's see, Jaguar. So one staff room, two buildings, three habitats. Great. Let's see, is there a vet? Yeah, in everything. Oh, did we not add it? We didn't add it to everything work zone. That's what we didn't do. Oops, where am I going? Sorry guys, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons as per usual. Here is our everything work zone. And we wanna make sure we add that and we add that. That's why they're freaking out. Okay, so they shouldn't be freaking out anymore because now everybody should be able to reach everything. And let's see, souvenir profits, release in the wild, release two giant otters into the wild, okay. And then habitat species welfare, increase the average habitat species overall welfare to 82%. Well, we're, we're trying. Estan is still in our zoo. <laughs> all right, so that should all be good now. Let's see, did this aardvark get figured out here? Oh, he's not there yet. Okay, great. Well, while that is getting figured out and we don't have a whole heck of a lot of uh, things yelling at us, let me go ahead and show you what I was talking about. If we get rid of this, Actually, we we'll probably want to pause this because I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the jaguars are just going to come running over here or not because then they can escape and that would be bad. Um, but if I take this and we rotate it, I essentially want to replace this frame for those metal pieces because then it won't be climbable and they won't be able to escape. So let's put that there. And then if we go in here and we just replace it, I never remember what those stupid beams are called. So I always have to filter it by the Australia pack. Um, perfect. Let's go ahead and see. Why can I not see you? Mm, do we want to use the tiny ones? No, we want to use the big ones. So if we do this. Yes, great. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete that delete that and delete that and we'll recolor this unfortunately these are the ones that you can't um they won't go any uh very dark rather if you do color them uh like black they kind of just stay a gray color so we'll have to figure out what color we want them to be but this is going to work out a whole lot better uh one question i do have for you guys while we're kind of taking care of this is what animal do you want to see next? Uh, I was so excited about adding the clouded leopard that I haven't honestly given much thought to what animal we'll put next in the zoo. So please do let me know what animal uh, you would want to see. I was thinking, you know, maybe we could do binturongs. Uh, the binturong habitat that I made for Socorro Zoo. Um, I don't necessarily want to copy over the exact same habitat uh, just because I like building and I, I want to make it, you know, unique to each of my zoo projects. But something along those lines, I think I would be okay with. So maybe Binturongs is an option. I'm trying to think we don't really have any 
primates in the zoo yet, huh? So we could definitely see what I mean. If we do black, they don't they don't go black. So I'm thinking maybe that color is okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that color is okay. So that should fix the problem. And now let's just go ahead and make this one match. The clouded leopards actually couldn't escape, uh, but just so that they match and they look nice. That way it makes me, makes me happy. Put that right on the edge, just like so. Beautiful. So now we have, oops, I gotta fix that gap. I didn't even realize. See, I don't come under here, so then I don't realize these things. Uh, now we have a nice viewing area uh, for the little cave uh, areas for the clouded leopard and for the jaguar and my thought was to make the insides of these completely rock so that they actually look like caves uh, I don't know how much detailing I will actually do because the chances of us coming down here is not very high because uh, it's not an area that we're gonna go down to very often but let's really quickly where in the heck is our there she is Let's just say, where is our Jaguar? Let's go ahead and check just to make sure that that fixed all of the issues. So if we hit play and it recalculates, yes, perfect. So she can go in there, not a problem. Let's go ahead and double check just here. Uh-oh, how, how are you getting out? Let's see, if we move this forward just a bit, good thing I checked that. Did that fix it? No. So the anti-climbing, is the anti-climbing stuff on all of this? Yes, the anti-climbing stuff is on all of that. So what, are you getting into this for some reason? Let's go ahead and pull that forward just a little bit and see if that fixes it. See, this is, they should not be able to uh, get anywhere. I want the animal not the tree please uh they shouldn't be able to get anywhere close to that but yeah see they were able to just kind of like pop through the fence but now that's fixed that's great so now we're not going to get any uh any escapes all right perfect so let's go ahead and get out of this your nutrition oh did we not i don't think we actually gave them a feeder um let's go to species clouded leopard Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go to food. Let's go ahead and give them a large food tray. We give it to them right here is good. Then it's right in front of the guests. It's easy for the keepers to get. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at them. Their long tails and their spots. Such pretty little animals. But yeah, so I think in the next episode, uh, some more detailing. Obviously, our buildings are kind of blank here. Ooh, we got some research. Babarusa, perfect. And I thought there was one more. Yes. What else? What else? What else? Africa? Barriers. Perfect. All right. So yeah, some more detailing. I guess we can get rid of this now <laughs> since we don't actually need that. Perfect. That way it's not sitting there. Great. And, oh, more already. Africa, great. Awesome. So I'm going to pause it here, guys. Uh, the next episode, like I was saying, some more detail. The next animal. I've got to put a small animal right here just to kind of fill in the space. And we also do need to figure out what the heck we're going to do with our aardvarks. I want to do another inside enclosure, I think, because then we can use the one-way glass and they won't freak out quite so much. So maybe we make a continuation of, of these buildings back here um, and kind of have like a walk through there for the aardvarks. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. But for now, let's just go ahead and take a look at our beautiful little clouded leopards. I'll hit play. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like. It really helps me out a whole heck of a ton uh, growing the channel. Heck of a ton is the new uh, term, by the way. Uh, but it really does help me out. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!